Now, let's go more in the, let's start creating some chords, some melodies, some stuff like that, and we'll talk about some other things, and we'll use some breaks and things like that. Okay, so first of all, when it comes to the BPM, let me know if there are any questions. When it comes to the BPM, this style is so eclectic, it can be anywhere from down-tempo IDM to super fast. So let's go, uh, I, I do see that around 140, 142 can be quite popular for those things because of the breaks, the break beats we're going to use. I did include uh, in the downloads, you're going to have a break beat sample pack that I gave you. And I'll show you which breakbeat I love for this style, specifically for the reason of the snares don't really fall on the two and four. So I gave you right here this breaks pack. You have all these breaks right here. Okay, you get them. Awesome. Let's first of all, though, we'll start with some uh, chords and melodies and stuff like that. Uh, I gave you, I've made a few presets here. Let's load this one. And let's first make some chords and then I'll show you some cool stuff you can do. So first, let's change the global key here. This uh, IDM stuff tends to be a bit more minor, melancholic, introspective kind of vibe. Let's just do keep it simple, A minor, okay? And if I just go and I'm going to load, just so we can see what I'm playing on my MIDI keyboard, uh, wait, uh, keyboard monitor. Here we go. Okay, here is just a meld with a bunch of effects that I created, and it also have uh, different variations. I'll show you also a way to morph between them. There's a free Max for Love device, uh, which can be really cool for arrangement and for different sections of the music. So we're just gonna play something simple. Maybe a different one. Let's try this. That should be okay. We just I did just A minor, G major, F or G uh, uh, E minor six, F major, and then back to E minor. Simple stuff, you, you can even, uh, I'll give you maybe a few chord progression examples uh, in the PDF, but the, this, I don't want to spend too long on the music theory today, I want to go more on the production techniques, but super simple progression, of course we have some movements with the upper voices, we'll add some more melody uh, later on as well, and let's see where are we actually start in here, I think it's here. Let's try to just loop that. And why are we a bit longer than what we want? Let's take everything here. I'm gonna highlight, and I'm just gonna shrink this. Oh, whoops, because we don't want these extra notes. We don't want this. I'm gonna consolidate Command J or right click, consolidate this clip, so we're just seeing that. And I just shrink it to four bars. And that's too fast, so I'm going to take everything, make it twice the length. No, okay, let's undo that. I want that, but uh, maybe I'll just make this bottom notes twice as, fast, twice as slow. Okay, and let's extend that, loop that, duplicate this. Okay, nice. Now, what we can do, let me do this. What we can do is we can start incorporating all these different versions of the sound, like this, and this, and this. 
by uh, using a free max for layer device called Smooth Automator. You just put it next to your rack. It can be audio effect rack. In this case, it's a MIDI instrument with variations. And then I can decide here the time, how long it's going to take to morph to the next variation. You see that? So now we can start introducing Right, a much more, whoa, what happened? Hello. A much more kind of complex sound morphing by having this. And by the way, if you're not using the variations yet, it's super useful if you map some key parameters from the effects and the instrument into macros and then just map them. And I didn't come up with these. I hit random until I find something I like and I save it. Random, something I like, I save it. And then I name it whatever, doesn't matter the name. So let's automate that and just have it. Maybe here I'll go to number two, here I'll go to three, here I'll go to four. We'll leave five for later, maybe for a different section. Right, and now we have all this kind of movement that it's so much, so much more compelling because it's interesting to listen to because of the movement. I might be switching them too fast, but for the example, okay, we'll leave it like that. Sweet. Let me know the next questions. Uh, moving on, maybe we'll also introduce some stuttering randomly. Uh, so we're going to use the beat repeat. Let's learn how to set up the beat repeat for stuttering without the chaos. So I'm first going to take down the chance. So we manually going to repeat it right here with just this button. I'm going to put it in instru instrument mode. So we're hearing only the repeats when they happen. What happened to our automation? There we go. Wait, something in the chat. Are you going to see? Yeah, Tiger, uh, all of these uh, instruments that I'm going to show you, especially the ones that you see that it's orange and green, those are mine. I will share all of these. Okay, you will have them. You can save them. You can use them. Uh, sweet. Um, this uh, Smooth Automator is free. I gave you the link. I will also send you a PDF with all the links. You just have to download it separately. Okay, I don't want to provide these because it's... It's someone else, but it's free. You just have to download them. Um, okay, beat repeat. Turn off the chance down. Put it on in instrument mode. I'm going to sit. I'm going to turn on no triplets. And I'm going to add variation. So every time the repeat is being triggered, it's a different speed. Okay, now we can absolutely manually automate it if you want. Just turn it on whenever you want. You can, you can record with your mouse. I, a lot of people uh, ignore this option, but if you don't have a MIDI controller, we can automate with the mouse, absolutely. I'm going to first of all turn off the uh, uh, arming of the track because I don't want to record any clips. I just want to record automation. I'm going to make sure the automation is armed. This needs to be on. And now I'm going to hit record. Okay, so you can do it manually. I'm going to undo that. Can I? No, it's continue. Oh, that will probably, that's probably taking over the, the undo history, I would assume. Doesn't matter. It's still cool. We don't care about undo right now when we're doing IDM. Okay, so you can record automation with your mouse. I just want to also introduce you to another free Max for Live device called LFO 3.1. <clears throat> it's the same LFO. But there's a really great feature that I don't see in the other LFO, unfortunately. Let's go look at the regular LFO. 
There is a waveform here called bin, binary. Binary is on and off. That's it. Those are two options. It's randomizing between on and off. I can map it to a repeat, so it's randomizing on and off. Okay, but it's, it's kind of erratic. We have this uh, free Max Vola device called LFO 3.1, and when we go to the binary, here we have percentage. So I can decide, let's say I want 15% on, and maybe we'll synchronize it. Let's map it. Come on, we don't get the... Oh, and let's return automation there. Okay, let's bring up more variation. Uh, so LFO 3.1, I like it because you can randomize on off in a bit more controlled uh, way. Okay, or probably a bit more with a chance kind of vibe. So sweet, we got that. I also want to introduce everyone to some tape effects. I gave you some free links, there's a really great, uh, some tape effects links, but there is a pack. It was released during the pandemic as a gift. It's called Stray Cats. What's the Stray Cats? Uh, Stray Cats by Max for Cats. Max for Cats is Christian Klein. Christian Klein is one of the main developers in Ableton. He, like the Meld, is one of the head developer of Meld, for example, one of many stuff that he made. Um, so if you open this up, it comes with a bunch of effects and, and, one, and a synthesizer and a MIDI effect and a bunch of cool stuff here. One of them is called Color. This is free, you can download it. It's called Color and it's essentially kind of a lo-fi multi-effect. Let's turn on the vinyl. That's way too much. Let's say... Uh, Slow down the wobble, turn down the flutter. You have a lot of different vinyl sounds here. I hope you can hear me on top of the music. A lot of different vinyl sounds here. Okay, so you don't have an expensive, uh, or not expensive, you don't have a plug, lo-fi plugin, color is free, okay? Sweet. Let's maybe not do all the... Nice. Wait, chat. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Thank you, Juan, for sharing the links. Yes, thank you. If you can also for the stray cat. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, wait, what? No. No, 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 wait, 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 guys. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Stray if not, I will ask Please Madeline. Check, I Ma think... Madeline is, uh, Madeline is, uh, st is uh, part of uh, Max for Cats, so I'll ask Madeline. But here, that's free, Stray Cats. It might be a different updated, like better version of color with more options. The one that we saw in Sonic Bloom. Sonic Bloom is a great blog. They just released Madeline. She's in Berlin. She just released a bunch of new skins for, uh, for live. Bright skin, if anyone interested. Check out Sonic Bloom, great blog. She has awesome tutorials. But Stray Cats collection, I think should be free. Please, someone check. You can download that. But thank you, Juan, for sharing all the links. Okay, and there's some other cool stuff there, but we're just checking out color. Awesome. Wait, more chat? Oh, yeah, Nisi, thank you. Great, okay. Next, let's say add a new MIDI track here. I made you another preset, more for kind of like a plucky, uh, glitchy sound. Here's the sound. Maybe 
Maybe we'll uh, change it actually to a band pass. Okay. Nice. I might need to add some effects, but let's check out another really awesome sequencer from the sequencer pack right here called SQ Sequencer. I will do a full YouTube tutorial on it very soon. Um, but this is an awesome sequencer. Let me first of all solo this track so we only hear uh, this uh, Sherman Goldman preset. And if I hit spacebar, it's already playing it. Okay, so this also, you don't need a MIDI clip, you just hit spacebar, but you can uh, capture it in MIDI, just like we did with the drums, with the rhythmic steps. You can open a new MIDI track and re record the MIDI from it. But right now, we don't need a MIDI clip. Um, so here, what we're going to do is I'm first going to set up our scale. Let's set it to, you can go with the global scale, but instead of A minor, I want to do A minor pentatonic. Okay, might be better for this... Uh, kind of vibe of uh, just like a riff or some sequence, some arpeggiator kind of vibe. Nice. Um, here, let's make it maybe 16 steps. Yeah, let's try that. And I'm just going to randomize the pitch. You see here, this is the pitch. I'm going to randomize it. I'm also going to randomize the octaves. Okay, here we can randomize velocity, although velocity do need to be mapped to something in the synth. Let's see if velocity is not mapped to anything. So maybe we'll do it a tiny bit to the filter. Okay, the length needs to depends on the envelope. That's cool. And here also we have the gate, which step is active. We can also randomize that. Okay, so very easily, you can create some awesome sequences uh, with the SQ sequencer. Okay, let's say actually I want to bring back all of them because I want to show you another thing here. If I go to the second page, we have other uh, parameters here we can change. Time shift is kind of like moving it and swinging it in time. We have ratchet, which will, uh, it's kind of a stutter effect. Let's do something that is high in octave ratcheting so we can hear it okay but we have condition which allows us to decide this step will only repeat ev every other time or every fourth time every six every eight i think up to ten let's do ten five four so now we have these that will not repeat every round Oh, and this also, the ratchet. Let's do also ratchet here. Maybe here. Okay, and we have something maybe very low there here, this one. Let's, you can click on this step so you can see visually what you're doing. Oh, because the length. Nice. If you want, you can randomize the the step sequencer so it jumps randomly between steps. But for us, let's just keep it forward. We'll probably need maybe some reverb and stuff. Uh, here's I don't I usually don't use plugins, but this one is free. Valhalla Super Math is massive. They just a uh, updated it and it has a new reverb uh, algorithm let's add another filter and let's also randomize the panning so i'm going to take a utility and